Maud Booth was an incredible leader for her times, and actually Volunteers of America was very progressive when we were founded around the, uh, the topic of, of women in, a, in an organization because back in 1896 when Volunteers of America was established, right from the beginning women were given the same vote as men, which was before suffrage, before women had the vote in the, in the country. So it was very progressive. And from the founding of the organization, Maud and Ballington led Volunteers of, of America together. She was especially renowned for her work in the field of corrections. She was one of the uh, co-founders of what is today known as the American Correctional Association. It was the American Prison Association in her day. And it was all about eliminating the lockstep and the ball and chain and striped uniforms and the more dehumanizing elements of prison and recognizing that these are individuals who had real needs and real, uh, real emotions. Maud's legacy is not just a legacy. It's not just something of the past. It lives today very much in part uh, in, in part of what the Volunteers of America is doing, we have a very key initiative now called Look Up and Hope. And that name harkens back to the title of a biography about Maud Booth that was written some years back. And that theme was very much a part of her message to, uh, to the people who she helped was that if they would look up to God for guidance, that uh, he would help them uh, get their lives in control. And what we're uh, launching now is an initi initiative called Look Up and Hope, which is focused on strengthening families. And in particular, it focuses on families that are affected by incarceration and where there are children in the family. So they have a mother or, or a father who is in jail or in prison. And that's two and a half uh, million children in the U.S. today who are in that, in that situation. We would like to break the cycle of generational incarceration and the intergenerational poverty that goes with that. So this uh, Look Up and Hope initiative is a comprehensive way of dealing with the entire family of providing support for the parent, in, in particular for the mother who's in prison, and for the, uh, for the child as well, and to make sure that they keep that connection during the incarceration and that the groundwork is done to help them when the mother is released from prison so that they can be a successful family. We're piloting this in five communities, and one of the communities is Indianapolis, and there's a program there that is the, uh, the, the basis for our work in Indianapolis around this initiative, and it's called the Theodora House. Theodora uh, was the daughter of Ballington and Maud, and this uh, program recognizes uh, Maud's affinity for correctional services, and it's a program that really focuses on women coming back to their communities after they've served their time in, in prison. Volunteers America has focused on women and families for a very long time because uh, women are the caregivers in their families. That simply is, uh, is a truth in, in this country and in most countries. And f in fact, we have a uh, National Press Club event that we are sponsoring on May 11th that really focuses on the whole question of women and aging. The issues we focus on are not just women in the correctional system who have committed drug crimes, but really women in society who are the caregivers. There was a study a few years back that said the average American woman can expect to spend 17 years of her life caring for a child and 18 years of her life caring for an aging parent. We focus on women and women's issues as a large part of what we do because that is really how to get to the core of supporting the family. And you can find out how you can support Volunteers of America while we support these women who are caregivers and as we support their families by checking out our website at www.volunteersofamerica.org or calling us at 1-800-899-0089. Thank you.